Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Fishing Blow. Um, as you can see, I'm trying some new things here. First off, I got a mic picking up my sound. I, I know a lot of you guys said that the sound was off. Last week was just awful, so let's pretend like last week didn't exist. Um, just camera issues, conversion issues, it was just bad. Anyways, this week I think I got it under control. Got the camera going. Hopefully it's not going to stutter. Got a mic picking up my voice so that it sounds clear. It's going to be a little bit quieter than... Um, just going from this webcam here, but I think it's a better sound quality, so hopefully you guys like it, but uh, I guess we'll see how it goes, but always, if you guys have any feedback, let me know, and I'll do my best to address it, um, yeah, uh, unless it's my face, because I can't actually address that. Did get a haircut, um, if you guys didn't notice, or care, um, but I did do that, so you're welcome. I hope it helps. Um, anyways, let's start off with the week, um, a lot of cool things I want to talk about. First... New trailers for The Fighting Fish, as well as The Borderland, which The Borderland is really hard for me to say because Borderlands is a game, and it came out recently, and I have a feeling that I'm going to say Borderlands, but I mean The Borderland. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about that first. Let me just, uh, right up there, there'll be a trailer that you can click on if you want to see it. Otherwise, it'll kind of scroll through while we're going. The Borderland is a film by Bay Logan. Um, or produced by Bay Logan. He's got a small role in it, but it's uh, primarily a French film. And I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, not too sure how it's going to do yet, but uh, I think the trailer looks promising, and Bay does know what good action is, so hopefully it'll be good. Otherwise, Fighting Fish was the other film that got a trailer, and I'll be doing a uh, post for that here in a second because I'm going to talk about that again since I covered it later on in the week. Anyways, um, so yeah, check those two trailers out, Borderland and Fighting Fish. They both have really sweet trailers, very different in their approach to action. So go ahead and give that a check. Okay, following that, Brandau, which some of you may or may not know, is a sequel to The Raid. Well, actually it was created before The Raid was even um, thought of. But anyways, we, I won't get into that because I'm just going to confuse you guys. Brandal is starting uh, in January, um, according to Gareth Evans' Twitter account, which reminds me that I need to check Twitter way more often than I do. I'm really bad about that. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah, I will check that. I promise. So, Brandal's going to start filming in January, and they said that they're going to wrap around October-ish, um, which is great. I think that 10 months sounds like a lot of time, but for an action film... That's great. I want them to spend as much time as they need getting everything perfected. So, can't wait to see what the fights are going to be like. Gareth Evans is very confident that the uh, final fight sequence is going to blow us away. And I have um, nothing but complete faith in his abilities as a director, um, both story-wise and action-wise. I think we're going to see everything taken to the next level. So, really excited for that. I'm going to try and keep up with his Twitter and... Uh, See how it goes. My, is it stuttering again? It looks like it's stuttering a little bit. I hope not. I really hope it's not. But I'm sorry if it does. I, I don't know. I was gonna double my RAM, and uh, the computer lady told me that I was being an idiot and that I don't need to. So, I don't know what the deal is. But I'm, I'm hoping that uh, I shut down a lot of programs so it's not running a bunch of processes. Processes. You know what I mean. It's not running a lot of programs right now, so it shouldn't be pushed that hard, but who knows? Computers. I'll get it figured out. I promise. I'm just glad that I'm sitting in, at a webcam again instead of duct taping my small camera to a lamp and talking to it, because that things got really weird really fast for me. All right, moving on. Gina Carano is apparently going to be in the... Uh, female version of the Expendables that's coming out. Now, it's not 100% like fact yet, but a script has been written, and the producer has been expressing his interest in seeing Carano in the film. Now, I've talked about... <clears throat> did I just... My voice squeaked. I think I'm going through that time in your age where I'm not. I'm just not even going to go there. Um, <laughs> it was really bad, though. Anyways, Gina Carano, I'm not really that hyped about her at all. Um, I watched Haywire. I wasn't a fan. I know a lot of people freaked out about that movie, thought it was great, thought it was awesome. I just wasn't one of those people. Can she prove me wrong? Definitely. 
but at this point in time, I didn't think that Haywire was that good, and I'm still kind of iffy on the fact of a female version of The Expendables. I think that The Expendables, it's, I'm, I'm not trying to say that it's a, a male-dominated genre. I think that if it's done right, women can be just as awesome. But I feel like it's going to fall into this pitfall of um, young women running around in like swimsuits or nightgowns or whatever, <clears throat> and then the older women, you know, may fight a little bit, but not as much. And I just don't know how it's going to work. Um, I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that it's amazing, but I just have this feeling that um, the objectification of women is kind of bad in action films, and we'll see how it goes. But if I'm wrong, that'd be great. Um, like I said, I'm just expressing my concern about that film, but I just, I mean, come on. I think we all know what's mo more likely to happen. Anyways, moving on to some more like exciting news. Um, Scott Adkins was talking about Undisputed 4, uh, what he's going to do with Boyka, what he hopes to see, who he wants to fight. or He didn't actually list who he wanted to fight, but he's got some people in mind. And uh, that brings up an interesting question. Who do you think Scott Adkins should fight next? Um, I know when they first started getting into the development of the script, they were asking people... And you're getting your typical, you know, Tony Jaa, Donnie Yen, uh, Jet Li, which for a film of that caliber, it's very difficult for them to get a star that's that big. So I don't think we're going to see that. If if we do, that'd be amazing. But I don't know. It's it's interesting to think about who he'll face off against, and also what they're going to do with the story because they said that it's not going to be in prison anymore, which means that they'll either have to do something. I think it'd be cool to take like a family approach. Like if you learn about Boyka's family, um, whether it's son, daughter, uh, mom, dad, something like that. Um, I think that would be cool. Add depth to the character as opposed to just this person who wants to be a fighter all the time. But that's just my take on it. But anyways, filming is supposed to start late next year, so we probably won't even see it. If we see it next year, I'd be surprised. Uh, Scott Atkins has been pretty busy doing a lot of films, especially after The Expendables, which is great. That's good news, but I know everybody wants to see Undisputed 4, so hopefully sooner than later. All right, following that up, Fighting Fish, again, I told you I was going to cover it again, but I did another article that was an action uh, trailer for Fighting Fish, which you can actually check out now. You can give it a click or just watch it scroll. Um, I think it's cool that uh, I finally figured out how to get the trailers to play, but uh, <laughs> I'm just bragging. I'm arrogant. So, anyways, you can check out that. It's got a little bit more uh, fighting and action in it as opposed to the story of the fighting fish. But I think that depending on how they play it, it could be like an undisputed style fight choreography. It may be good, it may be bad. I'm not 100% sure yet. But it actually came out yesterday, or yeah, yesterday in Thailand. So we'll see how the reviews go. And as soon as I can get a ha my hands on a copy of it, definitely try to check it out. So. Speaking of reviews, did a review this week for Six Bullets, which some of you guys may or may not know. I actually threw up some movies I was thinking about reviewing on my Facebook page. And um, Six Bullets got the most votes, and then after that was the four. So I'll probably do that for next week, unless uh, something else comes up that I, I'm not aware of. But I'll probably do the four next week, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's always fun to see what you guys are interested in so that I can watch it and express how I feel about a film. I'm not saying that we're going to agree 100% of the time, and if you disagree, let me know, because that'd be, that'd be awesome. I, I always like to see the other side of things. You know, if you loved Haywire, I would love to know why, and um, hopefully you guys don't hate me for not liking it. It's just difference in taste. And same thing, um, Six Bullets surprised me. I don't want to say too much. You can read my review if you want to know how I felt about it, but it really surprised me. Um, in a number of different ways. So I'll leave it at that. And um, I think that's all I really have. I was hoping I would have something else that I could share with you guys, but it's it's literally right there. I'm almost done with it. And um, I would say probably this week you'll be able to see it. I've got a couple other things I want to do, but the whole computer thing in uh, life has been slowing me down a little bit. But I've got a lot of fun things planned, so hopefully you guys will be checking it out. Other than that, um, it's really all I got. So I guess that's it. Um, 
Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. If you have any movies you want me to review, any suggestions, feel free to post it in the comments. Uh, video response, right on my Facebook wall. Send a, a pigeon. I don't know. Whatever you want. Um, if you do send a pigeon, let me know because I don't know when I'm supposed to receive those. Um, that's it. So I guess I'll just stop there. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.